Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. As we all know by now, most coverage of Muslims in news outlets has a negative slant. There is an unprecedented atmosphere of negativity against Muslims in the contemporary world. As such, many Muslim brothers and sisters living in non-Muslim countries are hesitant to declare their faith publicly. This story is about one such Muslim sister named Naila Hassan, who lives in Auckland, New Zealand, and is a police officer by profession. Becoming one of the first Muslim women in the country to be promoted to the rank of an inspector, it took Naila nearly 20 years to reveal that she is a Muslim. Let's go ahead and take a look at how she lived her life during this period. Born in Britain to a Pakistani father and an English mother, Naila Hassan's family migrated to New Zealand when she was only five. As a result, she grew up in New Zealand at a time when the Muslim culture was not very well understood, so they had to fit in with the other groups to be treated as equals. She says, As a child at school, everybody probably knew we were Muslim because there were certain things we didn't eat. It was just who we were. That was okay. But as you get older and get your own identity, other pressures come on, and you start to hide it a bit. Once out of school, she became a lifeguard. She was no longer a teenager and considering the non-Muslim culture, it was only natural to assume that oftentimes she was offered wine. However, she would always decline, saying that she was in training for her work as a lifeguard. Nyla's stint as a lifeguard evoked her desire to help and save people, which ultimately drove her into policing. When she decided to become a policewoman, only a handful of police officers were women in the ranks of New Zealand police, let alone Muslim police officers. On top of that, in her recruitment course of 100, only five were women. As a policewoman, Nyla's journey to her current status saw a gradual rise. After serving in the front line, she became the first female physical training instructor. Thereafter, she became a detective before moving into prosecution. Nyla's unceasing urge to do something more practical brought her back into the front line in 2012. From there, she underwent a series of promotions, first as a deployment manager, then youth and communities manager, followed by area commander in Waikatu, and then to counties Manakao. In December 2018, she was promoted to the rank of inspector and was handed a team under her lead. It was when she finally took to the public to speak about her true identity as she wanted to be a role model for her team, and keeping secrets was the last thing that was going to help her become that. She says, I suddenly thought, this is me. This is authentic Nyla. This is the person I am at home, so I want to bring that to work. Surprisingly for her, she received an overwhelmingly encouraging response from within the police department as well as the people in general. Nyla recalls, I was surprised at how much of the feedback was positive. Going by social media, a lot of the names were Muslim, a lot of them women. They were saying what a great story it was. Her staff within the police department also praised her announcement and spoke of how it presented her as a courageous leader. Nyla says that her intention behind the revelation of her faith was setting an example that could give her people the permission and confidence to bring themselves to work. Moving on, the March 2019 Christchurch Mosque incident had a major impact on Nyla's life. Though she was unable to prevent the disaster of 51 innocent Muslims, she made sure that she did everything in her power to bring some sort of solace to the families of the martyrs. With the assistance of hundreds of colleagues, she worked on a project that aspired to restore the confidence of the local Muslims. At vigils, memorials, and media events, she became the most prominent public Muslim face of the country's police force, as it wrestled with the aftermath of the mosque incident. As an appreciation for her contribution to the Muslim community following the Christchurch incident, she even received an award from the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Furthermore, Soon after the incident, she led a congregation of 200 people consisting of survivors of the attacks and families of the victims to Mecca for Hajj in the same year. Remembering this memorable trip, Nyla says, What a trip! Here was something I had heard about all my life, and then I was able to experience it, especially as somebody who had hid it for so many years. Today, 51, Nyla Hassan is now a superintendent of the New Zealand police. She still worries about the safety of Muslims in her country, although she is encouraged by the positive response of the New Zealanders in her calls for greater tolerance towards minorities. 
Muslims being one of them. She continues to make an effort to bridge the gap between the local Muslim community and the general population of New Zealand. None of what happened in the past has shaken her faith in Allah even a bit as she says that today, as a Muslim, she feels prouder than ever. May Allah continue to shower Sister Naila with success in her future endeavors. Ameen.